We are beginning our unit on customary measurement today, and specifically ways to measure length. When we think of measuring length, we might think of being able to measure something using a non-standard unit. For example, if I were wanting to find the length of this pencil, I might use my hand as a non-standard unit by saying it's about as long as my hand. And my hand is definitely a non-standard unit because your hand might be a different size than my hand, but it just so happens that this pencil is about the length of my hand. Now, thinking of customary units of measurement, we might choose to measure this same pencil using inches. Inches is a standard unit of length. And when we consider inches, we might start by measuring to the nearest inch. In order to measure something to the nearest inch, like this pencil, I might use a tool like a ruler. Now on this tool ruler that I'm holding, I'm going to zoom it up close so that you can see it. You will notice that if I want to start measuring, I need to line up my object with this first hash mark. This is the zero on my ruler and it is where my first inch begins. And then you'll notice that my ruler is labeled one, two, three inches, four, five, six inches. And the way I want to begin is by lining up the tip of my pencil with that first hash mark of the ruler and then I'm going to make note of where the eraser ends. And I see that the eraser is ending very close to the 7 on my ruler. So we would say that this pencil is about 7 inches if I were measuring to the nearest inch. Let's practice that with another object. Measuring to the nearest inch, I might try measuring the length of this marker. Again, I'll line up my marker starting with the first hash mark on my ruler and I'll measure it all the way to the end of the marker and I see here that this marker measures very close to the number six on my ruler. So this marker, if we were measuring it to the nearest inch, we would say it is six inches long. Now, measuring to the nearest inch is a good place to start with our ruler, but if we want to be really precise, we might try to measure something to the nearest half inch. And this is where we need to think about fractions. Because when we measure to the nearest whole inch, we're dealing with whole numbers like four, five, six, seven. But the idea of a half inch requires us to understand that half can be represented with the fraction one out of two. For example, when I look on my ruler, I see that this first inch, if I were to split it in half, I would see that this hash mark right here represents the half inch mark. Can you think of something that's about half an inch long? Well, it just so happens that Mrs. Taglia's thumb is about half an inch long. And we're going to take that idea of measuring to the nearest half inch by measuring some more objects. Let's start with this eraser. On the first day of school, many of us got a pink eraser. And just like measuring to the nearest inch, I'm going to start measuring this eraser by lining up my eraser with the first hash mark on my ruler. And then if I zoom in really close, you will see that this eraser is more than two inches long, but it's not quite to three inches long. If I were to look, you might say that this eraser is almost two and a half inches long. It's farther than two and one quarter inches but it's not quite three inches. So if I were to measure this eraser to the nearest half inch, I would say that it is about two and a half inches long. And we would write that like this, two and a half inches. We write the whole part 
next to the fraction and we always label our answer in inches. Let's try measuring to the nearest half inch again. This time, instead of measuring an eraser, we're going to measure the length of this big pair of teacher scissors. So, I'm going to start off by lining the point of my scissors with the first hash mark on my ruler and then I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see that the handle of my scissors ends awfully close to the 9 inch mark. It's not quite 9 inches but it's close. We would say that we when we measure this pair of scissors to the nearest half inch, we would say that it is nine inches long because it's closest to the nine inch mark on our scissors, closer to the nine inch mark than the eight and a half inch mark. Those are a couple examples of measuring to the nearest inch and nearest half inch. What I would like you to do now at home is to find an object, any object. It could be a marshmallow. It could be a paper clip. But I would like you to use your ruler that you brought home with you to measure it to the nearest inch and the nearest half inch by writing it on your worksheet. As always, bring your questions with you to class and we will certainly talk about it. See you tomorrow.